So now that we've had camp, what do we do after camp? I guess you didn't even realize there is an after camp because there's always an after camp. And so when our clients or our kiddos leave camp, are they going to another camp? Are they gonna be staying at home? Are they going on a vacation? This is another transition and we know transitions are A, tough and B, can be a challenge. So in that process of as you would get your child ready for camp, you also need to get your child ready to leave camp. Um, depending on the camp you've chosen, sometimes the camps we've chosen have a therapeutic component to them. So it's real important to find out what went on at camp so that you can continue whatever skills were started at camp so that we, uh, we gain momentum. Also, if your child struggled at camp, make sure you share that information with your therapist. If it was a speech and language issue, talk to your speech and language therapist. If it was a physical issue, talk to your physical therapist. If it had to do with a lot of sensory motor and writing and fine motor work, talk to your OT. Maybe it was behavior, but we also have to look at what caused that behavior. So it's important for us to know because we want to know whether your child is taking the skills they're learning here, transitioning from home, and transitioning them in and out of environments. So it's important that we evaluate the after camp process and continue that going so that we can continue making that success. We always want to be moving in a forward direction. So make sure you let us know. We want to know, hey, how did it go? And if it didn't go well, that's important information for us because that allows us to readjust the treatment plan and really evaluate and figure out what went on in that process. So remember, the after camp process is equally as important as the before camp process.